Good morning. So, yesterday I got a booster and a flu shot, so I feel um, a lot... Not yesterday. Two days ago I got my booster and my flu shot. Yesterday, I just slept. I don't know if yesterday even exists. Um, so, today I feel a lot better. But I lost a day of progress on my current project, so I'm taking a break. Uh, that video is going to come out in a few weeks. Today, I'm going to try to make some pillows following a Christine McConnell tutorial. Yep, that's, that's the plan, so I can at least get something out on Friday. Also, we're coming up on a, a very, very busy couple months for me. I've got holidays and anniversaries and things to celebrate and oh goodness. The past couple months have been busy too because it's been the high holidays so but just just so much. But things should slow down in the new year and I can hopefully try to film more so I have like a stockpile of things to put out for everyone. I don't know. We'll see how this one goes. Um, yeah, I've got some other things I want to get done today too, so I don't know. This is going to be a weird, messy video, and that sounds fun. Oh, hi. You want to say hello? My little boy has come to say hello to everyone. Oh, big sigh. So, in Christine's video, she said to make a 19 inch in deep diameter base pillow. Um, I cannot do that with my fabric, so I've got 18 inch here. Um, my measurements for my nice fabric I've got written down here with my Hellraiser ranking list is 24 inches across and 56 inches long. So I'm going to cut that out and then I'll get to gridding. Okay, so I chose, once again, maybe the most difficult fabric uh, for film, but that's okay because I'm going to make it work. Um, I did have to watch another video to figure out exactly how to do the smocking, so I'll make sure to link uh, that somewhere as well. So if you do want to make this type of pillow, you can, and I'll explain what's going on. So... Based off of what Christy McConnell did, um, I made a, a grid, and I went, so let me see if this shows up well. Okay, so I added a line, a line, and then nothing. And then I added a line, a line, skip a row, a line, a line, skip a row, a line, a line. So you want to make sure you have a blank row in between your two lines. <laughs> because what you're doing is... Oh, I should have gotten the setup. That's okay. So, when you're moving from one grid over to the next square, you're going to go like that. Um, this thread here does not matter. It can be as loose 
as you want it. And then you'll just want to lock it in place when you're there. And then you're going from one corner, following your lines, to the top corner. So you go like that. And then you pull them in. And you go through both corners, and you go through a couple times. I usually do four, just to make sure everything is nice and sturdy and going to stay. And then you can add a little knot, however you want to add a knot. This has just been the easiest for me. So then we go to our next our next square in the grid, we go over, lock it in place, up to the top of that square, the opposite side as well, I should, should say that, pull it through, connect our corners, so I thought I forgot to turn my microphone on because I couldn't see my little red light, but I just had my thing upside down. But that's okay, because I just wanted to show you what it looked like from this side. I've already gone up a few, few squares, as you can see. So on this side, cute, but you know, could, could be better on this side. Oh, isn't that pretty? So you can imagine once I get my other rows in and more of this done, it's just going to look even prettier. I'm very excited to see how this works and comes together. And I really like how this fabric is uh, taking to the smocking technique because I've got like deers and foliage on here. So when I started doing this, I was a little um, nervous about how it would look because of the deers, mostly. But I'm thinking it's, it's looking pretty nice. I might make another pillow where I use the opposite side of the fabric. So I have one, one turquoise and one gold. I think that would be really nice. I might do that, but that'll be a personal project. And Maybe I'll show you guys later. So I'm going to get back to smocking. That's probably what I'm going to do for the rest of tonight. And then tomorrow we'll get to finishing the rest of this pillow. Good morning. So um, I'm going to finish up my pillow today so I can show it to you. Uh, yesterday I did do a little bit more because I was worried about one of my edges fraying. So I've sewn it up. So the other side is going to look like this more or less. Hopefully a bit neater. But as you can see all of my smocking is on the sides and then it's nice and pleated right down here. I think it's very pretty and I'm very excited to get this done. So when you're pleating it's really easy because the fabric naturally wants to pleat that way where it's been smocked so you just kind of have to follow the folds and pull in a bit tight so it's nice and taut and will hold its shape and not get saggy and loose over time so I'm going to do that, sew it down, and then we're going to add a couple buttons, and it'll be all done. Thank you. 
I've made a pillow. Um, it's very cute, it's very squishy, and I like it very much. Uh, I do need to invest in curved needles and longer needles if I intend on making more, which I do, so I might have to make a trip to Michael's to get some of those. But I feel accomplished with my day in an hour project. I really like the um, the smocking technique. I think it's it's awfully pretty. It's like a little little waterfall of braids or something. And I really like how the uh, the deers looked in here. They're, it's kind of like they're hiding in the woods or something. Um, important things to keep in mind if you want to make a pillow and hand sew it. Uh, moisturize. I recommend taking breaks every hour to just moisturize your hands, sit down, and give your hands a break. So you don't like cramp up or cause calluses or something. Oh, maybe get a thimble or like something. I hear people do the do that and wear those. I don't cuz I don't know. I should. made a pillow. I'm very happy. And now I'm gonna go stick it somewhere and call it a day. <laughs>